Well, okay, I've given this quiz to my students. I've had six students take my quiz with five different questions on it. They've seen how they've done on their remotes, but now I want to see how they've done as the teacher to evaluate um, where they are and what they're doing. And if there's anything I need to go back and review or readdress with my students. So if I'm back on the title page, I can look at the results of the entire quiz by clicking on my Smart tab. Um, that middle tab right here, I've got the properties again, which tells me how many questions I have. But now I have results here. Instead of progress, I have results. And it tells me a summary of the quiz, how long it took to take the quiz, how many students passed and failed. Um, if they were absent students, what the class average was, what the standard deviation was. So you can look at all those details. Um, you can also look at this bar graph, which tells you question by question. So you can just get a quick overlook, overview of the different questions. How many students got it correct would be the green. How many students got it wrong, the incorrect would be the orange-red color. Um, if there had been any students that skipped a question, it would be in that blue. If it had been labeled, labeled an opinion question, that would be an orange answer. I can also have details, so I can see. And since I'm in anonymous mode, I don't have specific students, but I can look at the grades to see overall. Well, I have two students with hundreds, two or three with 80s, one student with a 60, um, an overall duration of how long they took on their quiz. So I can look if there's any red flags that stick out that um, I might want to try to address. Um, so that's an overall view of the results of this quiz. I can also go look question by question. So by going to the next page, there was question one. I now have my pie chart, just like a single question did, that tells me how many students got it correct in green, how many got it wrong in the, in the red. Um, again, I can show a bar chart instead of the pie chart. Um, and the details, I can look at the details and see, well, four students got it wrong, or right, two students got it wrong, um, how long they took to answer that question. So that would be some details that I could look at. Um, and I can go look at every single question that way. I can look at my pie chart. I can look at the bar chart. I can show the details of that particular question um, and get specific information about specific questions so I can look at if there's a specific concept I need to go back and address again. Um, and this question I'm really happy with because 100% of my students got it right, then I know that they really have this concept. I can move on with the next step of this concept. So that would be looking at some results of having a multiple question quiz, um, looking at the results of having anonymous students sign it in. Um, so you can see what their responses were, how many students got the correct answers on every single one. So the next thing we're going to do, once you come back to this tutorial and you're comfortable with giving quizzes, um, at this point I can think you can see that it would be helpful to have students signed in under their names so that you can look at specific students and how they have done. And that's the next thing we're going to work on is to getting students into your smart notebook or your smart response system so you can look at specific students and how they've done. So practice giving some quizzes, practice making some quizzes, looking at some results, and when you're ready, come back and we can add some students in so you can look at specific students and how they're doing.